Hi. This is a quick video. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Uh, showing you my Baofeng repeater. My redneck repeater. It runs off of uh, Nick Tech, N E K T E C K, 28 watt solar charger. Can be hung in a tree, folds up very nicely. Um, right now I have it charging this little battery pack that I got from Wired for free when I subscribed to their magazine. And I use this to power my phone when I'm out and the, my phone starts to go dead and I can just plug my phone into that. Uh, however, when I'm not doing that, I can plug there's two ports in here. I can plug the other port into, or both ports, into these connectors on the side. This is a little plastic ammo box. And uh, I just plug that in there. And now I'm charging one of the batteries that I have in, one of the two batteries I have in here. What I have is two spare batteries. Now, these are too close together for normal operation. These, these are the antenna connectors. Um, but just for, just for showing you how this works, there's also an antenna connector down here, and this one has a duplexer on it, so you can use it crossband. You can use it for two meters and 70 centimeters um, in or out. Uh, one, one obviously is going to be received, and the other is going to be transmit. And that way, you can use like a copper J pole or something up on a pole, and uh, uh, you won't have a problem. Uh, you can use the bow fangs at full power. Now, you open this up. And in here I have an accessory bag with the antennas, different types. I have a tactical antenna that I can put on there. I can use one or both, depending on you know how much power you run it out. These these particular um, bow fangs are, are eight, rated uh, eight watts, one watt, uh, one watt, four watts, and eight watts. Uh, at one watt, I found I can actually just put these on here using the uh, BNC connectors and um, and it'll actually work. Um, not sure why I'd want to do that, but um, it gives me the it gives me the option to depending on how I'm set up and what my power needs are. So um, I can also hook these up. What I probably do in most instances is put one of these on um, probably as the transmit but maybe as the receive. Usually you put the receive up higher. Um, but put one of these on as the, uh, as the transmit, um, and then hook the other one up. I have a little bag in here. All the little goodies are kept inside. So I have these adapters that I can put on for the BNC to change it to an SO239. So, um, I could actually run two antennas, um, or you know one and one or whatever combination you want one here that's running uh, dual band uh, you have all of these options available to you inside I have two extra batteries and everything is just velcroed on the side here so <clears throat> to keep it from bouncing around and holds it in place and make sure that everything fits so I have two um, extra batteries these are the um, uh, three 3,800 milliamp hour um, 7.4 volt batteries and um, they have a little charger port on the side which is wired to these uh, USB connectors here and I have these there's lights on them so you can tell that they're actually is they're actually working and let me take that off and I'm gonna unplug this So I can more easily get at these are the radios. Now there's two ways you can hook the radios together. <clears throat> you can connect a single wire from the uh, speaker out on one on the receive radio to the uh, microphone jack on the transmit radio, and set the transmit radio to Vox. Um, make sure that you've got your volume adjusted and you can do that. Um, I found that that works okay, uh, but a better solution 
for an extra I think I paid $15 although it disregard that because the prices of everything are changing so much that when you watch this who knows what all this stuff is gonna cost but uh, Baofeng actually makes this little um, walkie-talkie two-way relay box they call it with receive and emission and it, of course they're misspelled made in China um, I think I paid $15 for that but that works really well because then you just hook the two together and it takes care of the push to talk and all of that nonsense and uh, makes everything work so you set your one radio up for receive the other one for transmit turn them on Bob's your uncle there you go I think I had a lot of this stuff laying around I had the ammo box I had uh, a bunch of these connectors and wires and stuff like that um, I did not have the solar panel and depending on when this is and where you get your stuff from uh, you're looking at anywhere from 100 to 100 and probably 180 dollars maybe uh, to build one of these yourself the thing is um, these Baofangs put out these particular ones which eh, the reason I built this is I couldn't resist. I got the two Baofangs, I think were $45 and they're both eight watts and they came with the extended batteries. So I decided I'd get a couple extra batteries. I can charge these batteries while these are running down uh, using the solar panel and that way um, by simply coming by periodically and swapping them, I could run this for like a week if we were in an emergency situation. Uh, say we were uh, in a confined area. I'm in Arizona. There's a lot of canyons around here. Sometimes you get into a canyon It's you can't get out. So if you put one of these up at the top Everybody in the canyon is going to be able to talk to each other and they'll probably be able to talk to the canyon next door. So uh, That's a good reason for having this anyways um, There you go It all fits in here nice and neat uh, the whole thing weighs, I think I weighed it at 4.8 pounds, and this is much lighter even than that and folds up. So um, this is about maybe a pound and a half, maybe. Uh, I don't think it's even that much. So, and that's with all the stuff in it. So uh, very easy to carry. You can throw it in a backpack, uh, whatever you want, and off you go. So there's my redneck repeater. My two bow fang repeater. KJ7YYI. Bye.